Impressionism is an art style of the late 1800s that became popular in Paris, France, and then spread to the rest of the world throughout the 1900s. Even today, some of the world's best-known oil painters are Impressionists. Monet is considered one of the leading Impressionists. His paintings of water lilies stand out as a prime example of the Impressionist style. Art fans say that Monet excelled at painting water, and a lot of his paintings are of bodies of water, either seas or ponds or lakes or rivers. In fact, even the word Impressionism comes from one of Monet's works. Monet's painting called Impression, Sunrise, was publicly criticized by another French painter who ridiculed the style of the painting in a newspaper article. After that, the term Impressionism was used to refer to this new style of painting. If you're talking about Impressionism, you cannot fail to mention Camille Pissarro. Pissarro was the only artist to have exhibited paintings in every single Impressionist exhibition, eight of them in total from 1874 to 1886. Pissarro painted people in natural settings, avoiding the posed portraits of wealthy subjects. He often traveled to the countryside to paint scenes of people working in the fields there. Since I mentioned Monet, let's also talk about Manet. These two shared more than most of the letters in a surname. Manet is less famous, though, and that's a shame because his work is absolutely fabulous. Manet also liked to paint scenes in and around water. He even painted Monet, who was painting someone else, on a boat, of course. Manet also painted Morisot, an Impressionist painter married to Manet's brother. Manet wasn't the only one who painted Monet. Renoir also painted Monet in his garden. Renoir's work is very well known, and he might be seen as the most famous of the Impressionists. Unlike Pissarro, Renoir focused on people who were well known, not necessarily wealthy patrons, but people from his life, at parties and luncheons and dances in Paris. His paintings were bright, vibrant, colorful, and have lots of movement. If you have seen any Impressionist paintings, chances are that you have seen a lot of Renoir's works. Degas loved the ballet, and many of his priciest pieces are of dancers, though not always in their prettiest poses. It seems Degas had a thing for awkwardness, and he always seemed to catch people at the exact wrong moment. That's a hallmark of his paintings, and can be seen in the clumsy nature of his subjects. Even the horses he painted at the racetrack seem to be out of step. Though Degas did some paintings at the racetrack, he preferred to work indoors, which actually goes against one of the main ideas supported by the Impressionists, that of painting outside in the natural light, which is called plain air painting. Mary Cassatt was the only American and one of three women in the group that we call the Impressionists. She was friends with Degas, and in keeping with the habit of painters painting other painters, Degas did her portrait. 
Cassatt's work shows the same command of light that others in the group displayed. Much of her work shows domestic themes in households and women with children, though she did some fine work with water, too, a common theme in Impressionist art. There are so many other painters who are associated with Impressionism, such as Gauguin, Serrat, Cezanne, even Van Gogh, and maybe we'll come back another time to discuss them.